What's up, what's up, my YouTube family and friends? It's your man, Investing with Cam, uh, back on um, the Robinhood app. Just want to show you guys an example of, of um, an iron condor, uh, which is another strategy one can use um, when selling options. And so I just want to show you real quickly on how to, how to do that and just kind of show you what your your risks are and what the reward can be as well when using this particular strategy. And so when when using the iron condor options trading strategy, um, you want to start or I like to start, I should say, with first selling a uh, call credit or a uh, yeah a, a call credit spread. And so if you remember from the last video, if you happen to see it, when selling the call credit spread, you uh, make sure it says sell call up at the top if you're using the Robinhood uh, mobile app or what have you. And so uh, you always want to choose the strike price that is above the current share price. And so I'm going to start with the $6, um, $6 strike price here. So I'm going to select that and then you want to turn around and buy a call and remember when buying a call um, or doing a call credit spread, you want to choose a strike price that is higher than your your sale call strike price. And also you want to make sure that that premium is less than the premium on the sale call. So I'm just going to choose the one right above it, which is the six dollar and fifty cent call there. And then what you want to do is sell a put option. And so you want to go down and when selling puts now, and everybody doesn't do this, why I don't know, but you should if you ask me. Uh, but when selling a put, you want to choose a strike price that is lower than the current share price. And so I'm just going to go and I'm just going to choose the $4.50 put there. And then you want to buy a put. And um, just like when selling a call, uh, you well, not just like, but when you're doing the um, a put credit spread, you want to choose a strike price that is lower than your sale put when you're buying the put. And also make sure that that premium as well is less than your sale put premium. And so I'm just going to go and choose the $4 put uh, right below the $4.50 um, strike price. And so if you see here, it says short iron condor down here at the bottom. And so let me just click on this and just kind of give you an example of how um, the iron condor strategy works. OK, and so I'm just going to put in here, let's just say a uh, hundred, a hundred contracts. And which if you see here, your minimum credit now is amazing. You know, your minimum credit is two thousand four hundred dollars. If you see here. And then if you look, your max loss is two thousand six hundred dollars. So, you know, you're you can receive a lot of premium and not have to risk as much money, I should say, when doing or using the iron condor strategy. Um, but, you know, with everything, for the most part, when you're selling options, there's always some risk involved, you know, um, but. On the limit price side, you see it's at 24 cents. I'm just going to do it right at 20 cents per share just because if I was, um, you know, actually going to try and um, sell these these contracts, I would want them to be bought. And so the closer you are to the bid price, the higher your probability of your contracts being bought out. Uh, but by doing that, now you see my max, the max loss would be three thousand um, uh, dollars down here at the bottom. But let me just kind of open this up and show you how it works. And so in order for you to receive that max um, premium or what have you, uh, AMC strike AMC stock price cannot go below four dollars and thirty cents. If it goes below four dollars and thirty cents, then that's when you find yourself losing all of your money. Uh, and then on the other end with the uh, sale call um, credit spread or what have you, or the call credit spread, if the price of AMC was to go above $6.20, then 
then at that point, you would start heading into that max loss range as well. But as long as the price of AMC was to stay in between $6, or I should say uh, $4.50 and $6, then you will would receive that maximum uh, credit or that premium of two thousand dollars, and then you could basically just start the process over again. Uh, you know, but you, like I say, it can be risky. A lot of people like to use this strategy, especially if you kind of study the stock that you're using or the stocks that you're using and you can tell and by looking at it what the movements are going to be like whether it's going up whether it's going to go down whether it's going to remain flat um but as you can see you know you you do have to risk three thousand dollars but you can receive a max credit of two thousand dollars which is amazing but you know i don't really use the short iron condor strategy often um, like I always say, I like to just stick to selling puts and selling uh, covered calls um, because I just feel and it truly is just a lot less risk involved when doing so. And, you know, with this iron condor, don't get me wrong, you know, you could make a lot more premium when doing this. Uh, but like they say, you know, the more you, you, you receive, the more that you risk as well. But um, I hope this is helpful to many people. Don't hesitate to like and subscribe to my channel, uh, comment, share, um, investing with cam. I appreciate everybody that's, uh, that subscribed to my channel and I hope, uh, everybody has a great and wonderful rest of the week and remain prosperous. If you're doing these option tradings and, uh, I'll be back on here with more. Thank you.